going to today show you quickly how to add a transition screen on OBS. Now, all right, I didn't even know they were called transition screens. I just thought they were called, I don't know, I was searching for ages on YouTube and no idea when you change from one screen to another, you can have like a graphic play in between and uh, that's called a transition screen. I just called it a thingy at the time, so no idea what I was looking for uh, in YouTube for these, but I thought I'd make a quick video. So I've got my live scene, start scene, and then this is the blank scene. So when you add this transition, it adds it to every single scene. So every time you go in between any of these scenes, uh, it will play the transition. So if we go over here to scene transitions, click on the plus sign because we want to add a transition. Now the transitions are called stingers, no idea why, but uh, that's what it's called. So we'll go on stinger. Uh, I'm naming mine sword transition because the movie, the well, the little movie playback is a couple of swords you'll see it in a minute so I'll just name it sword and you come with this screen just ignore that a that's just showing you the um, transition a that's just showing you the screen a whatever the screen a will be and when it goes to screen B this thing we're going to add now the transition screen will play in between those two screens so first of all we're gonna have to f browse to your transition screen So I've downloaded a few transmission screens. They're just little movie files, that's all they are. And there we go, animated transition. So that's that's all they are. They're just little movie files. If we go to properties, uh, that's a WMV file. So Celtic Swords, open that. This is the important bit because you want the transition to play. You want the screen to play before it moves to the screen. So if we left this as it is and we moved from one screen to another screen, you'll see the second screen before the actual transition plays because this is on zero. So this is the best setting that I've found. Switch that over to frame and just enter 50 in there and you want this audio monitoring to be monitoring output that just means play the audio if the if the transition movie you've got has got a, has got audio you need to select this otherwise it won't play the audio on the actual transition screen right so if i add that and that's it it's done so if i now go to start there you go, it plays that graphic. There you go. And this will work on anything now, on any anything you add here, any scene you add, ending scene, pause scene, whatever, it will just uh, add it. That's it, a nice quick video, I hope that helped you guys.